Hello friends, welcome here at TNB Academy. Here we will talk about the clause 5.4.2 of ISO 19011-2018, that is Competence of Individuals Managing Audit Program. Here we will cover the requirements of the clause 5.4.2, Competence of Individuals Managing Audit Program, which includes the requirements of the ISO 19011-2018. 2018. Now, we will discuss the reference clause of the standards. Requirement of the clause 5.4.2 depend upon the requirements of clause 4. So, to understand the requirement of this subclause, please complete the study of clause 4. Therefore, understanding this requirement would be easy. Now, we will discuss the small introduction about this chapter. In this chapter, we will discuss about the competence of individuals managing audit program. Now, first question here arises, what is meant by competence? In simple words, we define the means of competence is the ability to do something as well. To know what audit program is, please see the session chapter 5 here, discussed in brief about the means of audit program. Here is the requirement of the clause 5.4.2 of the ISO 19011-2018 standard. The individuals managing the audit program should have the necessary competence to manage the program and its associated risks and opportunities and external and internal issues effectively and efficiently, including knowledge of point 1. Audit principles C. Clause 4. Methods and processes. C. A1 and A2. Point 2. Management system standards. Other relevant standards and reference guidance documents. Point 3. Information regarding the auditee and its context. Example, internal or external issues, relevant interested parties and their needs and expectations. Business activities, products, services and processes of the auditee. Point 4. Applicable statutory and regulatory requirements and other requirements relevant to the business activities of the auditee. As appropriate, knowledge of risk management, project and process management and information and communication technology ICT may be considered. The individuals managing the audit program should engage in appropriate continual development activities to maintain the necessary competence to manage the audit program. Now, we will discuss what clause requirement says. The individuals managing audit manager should have required necessary competence like educational qualification, skills and expertise to manage the audit program of the client and its related risks and opportunities and internal and external issues properly including the awareness of first audit principles this you can see from chapter 4 audit principles have total eight principles first principle integrity the foundation of professionalism principle 2 fair presentation the obligation to report truthfully and accurately principle 3 due professional care the application of diligence and judgment in auditing. Principle 4. Confidentiality. Security of information. Principle 5. Independence. The basis for the impartiality of the audit and objectivity of the audit conclusions. Principle 6. Evidence-based approach. The rational method for reaching reliable and reproducible audit conclusions in a systematic audit process. Principle 7. Risk-based approach An audit approach that considers risk and opportunities Point 2. Management system standards such as ISO 9001-2015, ISO 14001-2015 and ISO 45001-2018 Other relevant standards and reference guidance documents Point 3. Information about the client and their scope of work and context of the organization such as external and internal issues, 
relevant interested parties and their needs and expectations business activities products and services and processes of the audit now we will understand what it is meant by point 4 should have necessary knowledge applicable statutory and regulatory requirements as per the scope of client the individual managing audit manager should take part in the constantly changing activities and work which is necessary competence to manage the audit program now let's take an example how to write non conformities against clause 5.4.2 competence of the individual managing audit program of the iso 19011 2018 standard requirement the individuals managing the audit program should have the necessary competence to manage the program and its associated risks and opportunities and external and internal issues effectively and efficiently including knowledge of point 1 audit principles c clause 4 methods and processes c a1 and a2 point 2 management system standards other relevant standards and reference guidance documents point 3 information regarding the audit and its context example external internal issues relevant interested parties and their needs and expectations business activities products services and process of the audit point 4 applicable statutory and regulatory requirements and other requirements relevant to the business activities of the audit as appropriate knowledge of risk management project and process management and information and communication technology ICT may be considered the individuals managing the audit program should engage in appropriate continual development activities to maintain the necessary competence to manage the audit program non conformity evidence during the audit report review it was found that the auditor has not covered the regulatory requirements of clients as auditor is not aware about the applicable statutory and regulatory requirements as per the scope of work of client dear friends we have now come to the conclusion of this training session see you soon with an exciting new topic till then goodbye